Hello my friends, welcome back to or welcome to my channel Muddy Boots Maker. My name is Amy and I'm coming to you from Jaja Warren country here in Victoria, Australia. And I've just been out to pick flowers and take my puppies for a little wander in the garden and I've popped this little posy together and I don't know, I think I'm getting better at putting these posies together. What do you think? My son purchased a new vase which he got from the place where they had their ceramic lessons. So I'm going to pop the flowers in there. That looks pretty. And I'm going to pop them over here. There we go, that finishes off my display I reckon. So I have a new, very exciting setup here in my studio. This is where I will do my mending videos and I can show you up close and from different angles everything that I am showing you. I am extremely passionate about showing people how to mend their clothes. So I'm really excited about this new setup. But the video today is not about mending, although I'm going to show you something in a moment that I just did recently. So last week I showed you all of the knits that I knitted in 2022 and today I'm going to talk about my plans for 2023. But first, as I said, I just wanted to show you a new mend that I did. So I had a hole in my Birkin sweater and I replicated the leaves and the flower on the work down here and I've also popped a little flower at the um, arm under the arm um, it's not as good as the one up here here we go so there it is so my sweater is all ready to wear again. So I'm very excited to finally have that mended because I was just wearing it with some yarn holding the stitches <laughs> from, you know, creating a longer ladder. This is my Sunray sweater. It is by Jennifer Steingas and I have done a few alterations, quite a few alterations to this um, sweater. I had to knit back up the yoke to make sure that the arm sort of, you know, came up to the armpit and didn't, you know, hang down here. I, I hate it when, um, sweaters hang it down further. I like them to fit perfectly to my body. I also did some decreasing to create more body in the sweater and I cut it short. It ends right here. You can't see it very well in the video but trust me it is cropped because I wear dresses most of the time so I wanted it to be cropped um, and I absolutely love this sweater. It is made with Bendigo Woolen Mills Classic 5 Ply Yarn. So everything I talk about in this video will be linked below in the description and I keep a detailed Ravelry account so you can see that below um, and go over and see any notes that I make to any of the projects I am working on or have worked on. So grab your cup of tea, I have got some water here, some warm water, and let's get on with my plans for 2023. So I have quite a few projects that have been in my queue for some time now, now talking like four or five years. Um, so this year I really want to get into finishing projects that I really want to have the enjoyment of knitting and to wear. And I think I'm going to go out there and just say I think this is the year of colour work because there are a lot of colour work projects that I want to cast on and finish this year. I wouldn't call them, you know, like stranded colour work as such, but I have already started these log cabin mitts. 
Now these are a free pattern and um, I will link and pop the name and the person who designed them on the screen and down below. Um, I've forgotten right now. They are called the Log Cabin Mitts and these are for Samuel. So I have blocked these and I am ready to pop in the thumb. And I reckon these are going to fit Samuel quite nicely. They appear to be quite snug on my hand, so they're going to be perfect for Samuel. Um, I've got too tight. I've also got to sew in the ends as well, but I'm keen on getting these done. I would like to finish a pair of fingerless mitts for each of my three children for winter solstice. I was thinking that I would get ahead and this would be Christmas presents, but they really do need some fingerless mitts for this winter. And we are currently in summer, but you wouldn't know today because I'm wearing a wool sweater. Um, we are experiencing some cooler days, which is nice. I get to put on the wood fire oven because we live off grid here and um, do some cooking this evening. I'm going to do some baking too. If you are a patron over on Patreon, you will have seen my video I just put up today. It is a video of um, a harvest that I made and some cooking that I did with that harvest. But I have some zucchinis left over and I want to make some zucchini cakes because that is what my kids requested when we have a glut of zucchinis. Okay, so these are gonna go off to the side and I'm gonna try and complete these beautiful mitts. It's so much fun and a really great scrap project as well. And another project that I have cast on already because this will be needed this winter, I have it in my little French bag that I got from a beautiful linen store in Malden. I will link it below. And this project is made out of this beautiful yarn from Bendigo Woolen Mills. It is a DK. It is, um, I have one whole, here we go, here's the tag. It is, oh, I'll show it on this one here. Is that coming up? It is Mosaic Coffee Bean by Bendigo Woolen Mills. And this was their replacement for the rustic yarn that they made the year before. So this was 2022 and 2021 they had this really nice rustic yarn. I've spoken about it before. I spoke about it in my last um, video. I might not have been, you know, I might have been a bit harsh towards the rustic um, fingering weight yarn, but um, really, really love this one. And this mosaic yarn is machine washable, which I do a lot of hand washing of my, um, my own garments, but I do like to have machine wash as an option for my kids knits because we do live on a farm here and they do get really really dirty sometimes and I just like to be able to throw it in the washing machine on a very gentle wool cycle. I even do it like on a no spin sometimes or um, a very low spin just in case. Um, this one I think though I will be really tempted to hand wash because it's just so beautiful. And here is the project I am knitting. Look at that texture on the front there. That is just so delightful. I thoroughly enjoyed knitting this texture. So I finished knitting it now because it only goes to just, you know, where you split for the sleeves. So I've just split for the sleeves and then I will be knitting just plain stock and, um, in the round knitting all the way down the body. This pattern is the Alec 
XL sweater. It is the adult version of the kids Alec sweater. <laughs> um, I will, as, a, as I say, everything's down below and on the screen when I talk about it. It has this collar at the top here, which is optional to add later, but Samuel doesn't want the collar and I actually like it without it as well. So this will just be as it is up here. It has some buttons down here. So there's the option of it to sort of sit open a little bit if it want if he wants it to. I have tried it on him and it is fitting nicely. It will definitely last a couple of winters at least. And this yarn is so soft and beautiful. I'm really, really happy with how it's turning out. And I'm really, really upset that there's no more of this yarn. Oh, I'm hoping that they bring this out again this winter. And if they do, I am buying heaps, heaps and heaps, because I actually really would like to knit a sweater with this this um, chocolate colour included in that sweater and I will talk about that in a moment. Um, yeah, so I'm, so I am knitting size 2 of the adults and it should fit him, it should be a little bit roomy on him but it is turning out beautifully and I'm really happy to have something at the point of just knitting in the round as well, which I can do when I'm helping the kids with their homeschool work soon. And you know, when we're watching family movies and stuff, I can um, just work on something in the round. So that's that one. But of course, I am going to want to cast on something harder soon because when I have something in the round, I'm not interested in knitting that when I want to pay attention to the pattern and have something that is slightly distracting from life um, or that I can really, really use my brain um, with. So, have a drink. So I have had like 60 something or rather patterns <laughs> in my queue for ages. Some of them are ones that, like a Christmas ones, decorations, you know, just, I have them earmarked there in my queue just so I know that um, they're ones that I wouldn't mind making, so they're seasonal. I have big plans for casting on from my stash, so trying to use up my stash there, and also using the patterns that I've already purchased. This yarn here, that I have in this fun bag that my friend Annie made um, for me. It's a fun, fun little bag. I have this yarn and this yarn. This one's really blowing out. Looks better in this camera here. So this yarn here is for the Rad Radish Mitts and Socks. I have had this yarn since winter last year, so in July, I believe, or June, uh, when we went to the Bendigo Wool and Sheep Show. Um, wow, that's blowing out heaps. Uh, it is so not that bright. Anyway, this yarn is intended for those projects and I can't wait to cast them on. I might just do that soon, but need to wind up the one last um, skein for that project. So it's sitting in this bag waiting for me to wind. And that is what's stopping me really. It's the only thing that's stopping me from casting those on. I have got another project bag which I made. It's this cute little chook that I embroidered. Actually, I've I've sewn that with a machine and I Im I hand sewed the ball of yarn and the crest and things that were, but I did all this bit here with the machine. All that bit. Anyway, fun. I did quite a few of these back in the day. 
Okay, so to use up some of my stash, I have so many balls of this yarn um, and it is so luscious and beautiful. It is a one-off yarn that I got from Bendigo Woolen Mills. It is a four-ply watermelon coloured 85% fine wool and 10% bamboo and 5% silk. And I thought it would look really nice. See, this is the only problem with this setup so far, so that's why it's good to <laughs> good to um, have a go at your new setups and keep having a go. But um, these lights are blowing out the colours a lot, so this is not as bright as it is coming out here. But I thought it would look really cute. held together with this yarn here which was also a one-off at Bendigo Woolen Mills. It just says colour variation. It was just in the back. If you've ever been to Bendigo Woolen Mills you need to go to the back. There's so much there that's not online. There's so much and both of these came from the back. Um, so I will show you in camera too because that seems to be the best. Yes. That, that is pretty much the colours there of the yarns. So I'm going to hold these together and um, the plan is to make a, another full length pop crop sweater by Amber O'Brien. So that is in here and I will cast that on soon because that will be a really easy knit and I'll finish that really quickly like I did with all the other um, pop crops that I've done. So I was speaking about how I really wanted more of this beautiful brown, this brown colour. It's just so lovely and I really would like to make myself a sweater out of this yarn but I don't know if I could make, I've got three balls of it. So that is, each ball is 400 metres. I need to swatch for this project but I calculated that I need 600 meters for my sweater out of this but I haven't calculated how much I need for Samuel's sweater that I've already started so if I go halfway into this ball after knitting Samuel's sweater I think I will swatch for this project with this yarn and see how I go I might make it a cropped sweater, but I really, really, really want it out of this yarn. So the sweater that I'm talking about is the Into the Wild sweater, and I would like to make it out of these four yarns here. This one's coming out a whole lot more uh, sort of greeny than it is. So these have been in my stash for quite a long time. Ooh, this way. <laughs> closer to me. So these ones have been in my stash for quite a while. This is really some, you know, scrap deep diving into my stash um, knitting here and I'm hoping that they will all work out well but I need to swatch for it. I will just wait and see how I go with Samuel's sweater and then I will know whether I can commence with swatching for this project. But I'm very, very excited about that. This year I would really like to knit the Pressed Flowers cardigan and I have the perfect second colour for the cardigan, but I have not got the main colour yet. So I will have to do some purchasing to make up for um, some of the yarn that is missing for these projects. This year is not I mean, it's not about using up the entire stash that I have. I just want to use from my stash. And also I did buy some of these yarns with intentions to make some of the projects, um, but I just haven't gotten around to them. So I don't have yarns picked out for these projects yet, but I wanted to show you and I will put them up here so you can view what they look like. I want to make the Ulu Mitts by Caitlin Hunter. 
I want to make the Miss Marple scarf by Suzanne S. VV. That's what it says there. I would like to use some of my scraps and make the Vertices Unite shawl by Stephen West. I have on my list a Victorian lace collar that I would like to make so I can, you know, pop that on some of my um, dresses that I wear and um, have more of that sort of Edwardian Victorian but modern with a modern twist style that I really like that is sort of my style. I would like to make the snow frost hat by the petite knitter. I would also like to make the mysterium tea um, by Hannah Mann. Now I might cast this one on soon because this is a gorgeous summer project to start and I have lots of linen yarn in my stash so I'd like to get that started. I would love to make the festive doodle by Caitlin Hunter. Now the festive doodle is a full colour work sweater and I really just want to make a full sweater that's completely colour work and using lots of scraps in my stash. So that is a definite. I really, really want to make that. I would like to make the underwing mitts. I've had that on my to-do list for a while. The shift by Andrea Mari, which is a cowl. I have a couple of patterns to make for our puppies. A few other patterns that I have in my queue are the Stago, Sago Stad Bottle Cozy. I just wanted to make that just for fun because some of my, our water bottles have got lots of dints and they're not looking so lovely on the outside. So I'd like to make some, them some covers to cover that ugliness. I also love these mitts but um, I'm not going to pronounce the name, the mittens actually um, and the shine mittens as well I really like those there's a few Christmas toadstools that I'd love to make I thought of using this leftover city um, cow as um, using up lots of my scraps. So I have those earmarked there and there are so many more patterns on my Ravelry queue that I really 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 want to make. Um, I have quite a few mitts and mittens on there and I really would like to do some colour work mitts for my kids. So I'm hoping I'll have these done and two extra mitts done for my girls. But I haven't picked out which ones I want to make for the girls yet. There are a few different mitts that I have on my list and I will just have to make my mind up eventually and cast those on. If I want to go plain and maybe try and do a little bit of colour work on the mitts, there are the fire pit mitts which are quite simple and they would be perfect for my kids. The pattern has a small, medium and large and it looks like it would fit my youngest 10 year old Hazel, her small hands. So there's those ones on my list too. I have quite a few more sweaters on my list and also socks. But I obviously won't get around to knitting everything in my queue and that is fine. I have the Haskins or Haskin, okay, Haskins, Has Haskins I would say. Um, and the Moby Sweater Man. Um, both of those I have earmarked for Latham. I'm not sure which one I will choose or he will choose rather but I'm keen to finally get around to knitting my man a sweater.
So not all of these are in my library already. I will be purchasing some of these patterns. There are a few patterns that I've already purchased, like the Advent Sock pattern. I would like to knit that. I would also like to knit some hot water bottle covers. I have the All You Need Classic um, hot water bottle pattern there. And um, I could do a little bit of colour work on that as well if I wanted to. So I definitely would like to knit those hot water bottles for my kids for Christmas. So my plan will be to knit those hot water bottles this July for my giftmas knitting I am planning. So that is a lot, but that is all I have sort of planned and earmarked. Who knows how much I will get done. I have all the intentions for getting a lot done. I really have a lot of motivation. I really would like to be wearing garments, um, particularly the ones I already have cast on. I will pop a picture of the dress that I am knitting at the moment. I haven't worked on it in a while because it is big now and it's summer and I don't want all of that wool sitting on me, but I'm close. I'm probably two thirds of the way through um, I've got to, I've got to try the top on, have a fit test and make sure that it is where I want it to be. Um, but I want to finish that dress. Another knit that I have on the go at the moment is the Zyma sweater. I want to finish that as well. It is almost there. I'm just waiting on the last skein to arrive and then I will be able to finish it off. And of course, I have my second Birkin sweater to finish off. And it is just so beautiful. I really, really want to wear these gorgeous, absolutely beautiful colors this winter. So I am just at fixing up the under underarm part. The yoke was a bit too long, so I'm working up. It's kind of similar to what I did on this sweater, so that the sleeves are closer to my armpits than they were. And I believe I'm succeeding. This um, sweater is also pretty much the same length as the sweater I'm wearing at the moment. It is made to go on top of all of those beautiful dresses that I wear over and over again. So I'm really, really, oh, the smell of this yarn is just so delicious. And once I get back into my regular podcast episodes, I will talk a lot more about this beautiful sweater. Um, but right now I'm going to put that aside and it is going to be finished soon. Thank you so much for watching my little video on what I have planned to knit for 2023. Please hit like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more of my knitting journey. So I have big plans on posting a lot of mending videos and I just wanted to post out there and ask my subscribers, would you like me to put all those mending videos on a separate channel rather than putting them on here? I feel like I'd like to make a separate channel, but I just wondered what the feel was out there. I love the idea of keeping this channel as mainly my knitting and making, but of course mending is part of that making as well. So please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you wanted to see more of our slow living homestead life on this off-grid farm we live on then please go over to patreon and support me over there you can even just subscribe for a month and you can see all the videos that i have posted over there so far which are only two but i'll have so much more happening over there you get to see more of the garden more of my cooking you get to see all of the items that i'm making behind the scenes my products that i'm 
going to be offering soon and of course you get to have the option of purchasing those items first for a whole week before I release them to everybody else. I still haven't worked out how I'm going to do that but I'm pretty sure I can do that on my website so <laughs> I will I will figure it out and um, I will let my patrons know about how they can access my products when I release them. Anyway that's enough about all of that. I'm going to go and make myself a cup of tea and sit in the quiet house and knit. Okay my friends, thank you so much for being here. Have a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye!